Hello, everyone. I'm Suzanne Arnett, Regional Director of Clinical Partnerships, and we are back with ED Connections, where we are live and connected. We will be live the second Wednesday of every month, so be sure to follow our network social media pages. The Sela Eating Disorder Network is comprised of Sela House, Magnolia Creek, and Toledo Center for Eating Disorders. We meet clients where they are in their recovery journey and provide the necessary therapeutic techniques to empower sustainable freedom. Our expert clinical teams help clients understand recovery as possible by utilizing individualized treatment plans comprised of a combination of evidence-based treatment modalities. Our goal is to make sure each client feels safe and close to home and to conduct all levels of treatment in comfortable and home-like settings designed to offer a clear step-down process, continually supporting our clients in their recovery journey. I'm excited to be here today with Dr. Danielle Haygood, our clinical psychologist and clinical director for Magnolia Creek. Welcome, Dr. H. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Well, Dr. H, we are here amid the holidays. Uh, It's certainly a challenging time for many folks. What would you say to someone who may be considering treatment for their eating disorder right now during the holidays? Well, I think someone that um, is struggling with an eating disorder, the holidays can be one of the most stressful times of years. Um, just with the focus on food many times, being around family for extended periods of time, travel. Um, so it can be an overwhelming time of year. Um, and I think, I think a lot of what we do during this time of year is to overextend ourselves, you know, um, helping others and doing a lot for others, which is amazing. But I think in terms of treatment, this is the time of year to focus on yourself, your recovery, so that you can go into the new year Um, with freedom and in recovery. Um, So I would really, really encourage anyone who's thinking about um, treatment right now to really give us a call and we can kind of walk you through it. Um, But it can be viewed as a gift to yourself, which is the most important this time of year. I love that. And speaking of gratitude and Thanksgiving, we just finished Thanksgiving. What did you guys do at Magnolia Creek that was special for Thanksgiving? Well, I think Magnolia Creek is just special in general. Um, it's it's a really homey, um, really cozy environment. Um, and for Thanksgiving, we did, you know, it's kind of like a family here. We just all came together as staff and um, all of the clients. We um, had Thanksgiving activities together. We had meals together. Um, we made ornaments together, um, decorated cookies. Um, just did all the things that, you know, um, we're used to doing when we're at home. We want to bring that here, that comfort level here. Um, And it doesn't have to be a clinic, you know, that clinical sterile setting. Um, And we certainly move away from that here at Magnolia Creek. That's great. So what are some warning signs that families can look out for during the holiday season or or say many of um, the colleges have ended their fall semesters early and are on an extended Um, winter holiday. What would you say to these families? Sure, yeah, as I was saying before, this time of year can be, you know, really stressful for everyone, but especially if you're struggling with an eating disorder. And just a few things maybe for family um, and friends to look out for would be um, weight fluctuations, um, you know, whether up or down, that could be an indication that maybe something's going on with that loved one. when you're talking to them, you might notice that they may be more preoccupied with their shape, their appearance, their weight. Um, You may notice them talking a lot about um, other people's weight and comparing themselves with them. That can be another indicator. Um, Also just, you know, um, in terms of eating, you might um, see uh, a drastic change um, in what they're eating, how much they're eating, whether it's more or less. Um, that can be a factor. Um, and also uh, another factor to consider is just behaviorally, if you notice that person is maybe isolating more, um, you know, and, and when I say that, I don't mean maybe taking a break from all the activity and festivities, but, you know, isolating where maybe not wanting to leave the house, not wanting to connect with family, with friends, um, just having kind of that low um, isolated behavior would also be 
um, an important indicator. So I think those are some of the, the, the key um, things to look out for. Yeah, so important for families um, watching or tuning in right now. Now, this Friday, really exciting uh, thing going on at Magnolia Creek. We are having a virtual professionals tour. Um, what do you hope that the professionals out there, the therapists, the physicians, dietitians, what do you hope that they take away from that? What, what you want them to learn about Magnolia Creek? Sure. Well, I'm really excited um, about the open house because just, at, you know, the world is going to get to see the amazing staff that we have here, um, the, the clinical staff, our RCS recovery staff, medical staff, um, to be able to meet the people here and to be able to really um, see the talent that we have at Magnolia Creek um, and, the, and the hearts, you know, the, the, the staff here is like a family, we work together um, and everyone is very passionate about what they do here. And so I'm really excited for folks to see that. And I'm really excited to, to be able to, um, you know, let everyone in on all the, the, the different things that we're doing at Magnolia Creek and um, the different treatment approaches. Um, and so just kind of to, to shed that light on, on Magnolia Creek is, is going to be really great and exciting. Yes, it is going to be exciting. I, all the heart that the staff has. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a beautiful thing. It's just a shame we can't bring everyone on campus in person, but virtual, we'll have to, uh, to go with that for now. Well, thank you, Dr. H. I appreciate you joining us today. My pleasure. All right. Well, for more information on the SELA Eating Disorder Network of Services, or if you or someone you know is suffering from an eating disorder, we are here and we are ready to help. You can visit our website anytime, www.magnolia-creek.com, which also houses information about our network of services. Contact our admissions teams anytime, 24 seven at 765-641-0022 with one call and many solutions, or private message us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. We invite you to join us next month, Wednesday, January 13th at noon Eastern on the Toledo Center Facebook page as we consider our e continue our ED Connection series. From Dr. Haygood, myself, and the team at Magnolia Creek, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, we are here we are ready to help and we invite you to walk with us into freedom.